So Hair Sport here at Energy today chatting to Hugo Keenan in relation to the Six Nations. Ready and looking forward to it, Hugo. Yeah, it's exciting times. Um, it uh, was a disappointing end, obviously, to the World Cup. And I think the whole squad and everyone's been keen to get back in an Irish jersey and uh, ride a few wrongs from that and to get stuck into an exciting Six Nations, uh, which is kicking off, obviously, with, with the France game over there. So that's a brilliant challenge to to get us focused for. Of course, yeah, and everyone was looking on, watching you guys. Hopefully they'll be the same now for the Women's Six Nations. First test on March 23rd. Are you looking forward to that one? I am indeed, yeah. It's an exciting time for the group. They're in a bit of a transition phase with a new head coach. Um, I've been keeping an eye on the Celtic Challenge uh, Cup at the moment, and it's great to, for them to get a bit of a warm-up and... Um, a uh, bit of a lead in into the Six Nations as well for that. So, yeah, exciting times for both squads. Do you guys keep an eye on much of the women's games? Yeah, we do. Uh, we have a keen interest, um, both at 15s and at a 7s level as well. So um, we're, we're always, I suppose, sharing the same facilities, uh, meeting each other in there. So that way you get to know a few of the girls and um, get to support them in, in that regard too. Chatting about sharing the facilities, I believe in the seven setup, you would have came into contact with quite a few of the players there. Yeah, there was huge crossover back then. We'd always train at the same times. We even pretty much had the same coach with Anthony Eddy. Um, it was a few years ago, but uh, we even had one or two training sessions against them. I remember <laughs> uh, Amy Lee Murphy Crow running rings around Will Connors, which is always great to see. She'd run ring, rings around anyone. And yeah, friends. yeah, yeah. She's some, some athlete. And then obviously there's under Scott Beeman now, they won the XV3. This will be a good platform to then jump on and go on their level again. Yeah, that was a um, brilliant experience for the group uh, going over to Dubai in, I suppose, tough climate. And um, yeah, three good games for them. And um, yeah, it, it was a good stepping stones in, into the Six Nations for them and um, a good building block to, um, to, to lead them into it. And there's continued attraction around the energy AIL and competitions like that. Hopefully we'll see that now transcend and keep growing and growing in the Women's Six Nations too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think energy, the energy AIL has been great for developing players. I, I did my time with UCD there <laughs> and uh, it's great that the women's side of it's getting a lot more exposure um, with the final on TV every year and getting good crowds down there so hopefully growing the, the game in that regard too. Who do you think you're one to watch for the Women's Six Nations there? Um, I probably have to be biased to a few backs, maybe Aoife Dalton or Aoife Doyle, uh, two flyers at centre and wing so um, yeah. Both, uh, both great players, um, so excited to see them go. Lovely, and overall then, what do you expect from the tournament? Who's going to win, do you think, and what do you think Ireland will bring to the table? Um, it, it's hard to know. I think both teams will just be focused on, on that first game over in France. Um, two, two tough challenges for, for both women's and men's. Um, so I think both, both teams should go in uh, with the hopes and with the, with the aim of winning the whole tournament, why not? Um, that's, that's why we're, we're in it. Um, but yeah, you can't look too far past that first game. Perfect, thanks Hugo. Lovely.